The Human Milk Institute is one of a kind. That's what its founding director tells us. No other institute at a university is focused on understanding the science of breast milk and the role it plays in our lives. Pediatrics professor and founder Lars Boda says he doesn't know why no other institute has the same dedication. There is no all-encompassing, harmonizing institute that takes all aspects of human milk, from molecular biology all the way to public health, social sciences, politics. I mean, there is a lot of, of, of space to cover here. Boda, like me, was nursed using infant formula. Baby formula has the calories and nutrition that allow a baby to grow, but it lacks all of the bioactive molecules that exist in breast milk, and they do make a difference. Boda says babies nursed on mother's milk are less likely to get infectious diseases. In developing nations with a higher burden of pathogens, not nursing on mother's milk can have serious consequences. This could be a question of life and death. So if you don't receive human milk, uh, you know, with all those bioactive components in it that protect you from disease, then you might have a higher chance of dying from infectious diseases. But it's still not well known just what those protective elements in breast milk do. There isn't enough research to evaluate the distinctions between children who are breastfed versus children who are given formula. And and I, I would love to be a part of the research that answers these types of questions. Mitra Hushman was just hired as the executive director of UCSD's Human Milk Institute. Her scientific background is in neuroscience. She founded her own business, a yoga studio, and campaigned to pass Prop 14 in 2020, which provided $5.5 billion for stem cell research. When it comes to breastfeeding, well, she's a mom and she's done it. I spent almost the entire time breastfeeding reading about breastfeeding and breast milk. I clearly remember that I would have a phone in my hand and as I was breastfeeding, I was reading, you know, what time of the day is the right time to breastfeed? Hushman's goal and that of the Institute is to grow into a place that's focused on research that is also engaged with the community. Boda adds the Institute should be a place that creates new connections with other San Diego scientists who can study breastfeeding. We have great people here that work on all different disciplines, experts here in San Diego that, that can do really miraculous things. But how do you connect all these people, all these different expertises to collectively work in one direction? For a lot of women, breastfeeding is not easy. It can be quite painful at first, and many women wonder whether their baby is getting enough. Boda says the healthcare system needs to normalize breastfeeding by providing adequate support during pregnancy and lactation, and that is also part of the Institute's mission. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.